Leech Collector Disgusting Jobs in History Leeches were used throughout history in medicine to relieve all kinds of ailments, from headaches to hysteria. Hieroglyphics painted on walls show ancient Egyptians using leeches to treat patients. During the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, barber surgeons and plague doctors applied leeches to suck out the bad blood during plagues. But in the early 1800s, there was a leech craze, which spread throughout Europe and America like no other, which became an important part of the bloodletting process used by many medical practitioners. Medical practitioners applied leeches to the patient's mouth and inside of the throat using a leech glass, and sometimes patients even swallowed them. The peak of the leech mania was in the 1830s, when tens of millions of leeches were used every year in France, England, Germany, and the United States to the extent that demand was outstripping supply. The leech collector became a familiar sight. Although old horses were used if available, the leech collector would commonly wade into the bogs and marshes themselves bare-legged. They did this so the leeches would latch onto their legs, thinking they were cattle, and start drawing the blood with their front teeth. The leech collector was traditionally a female occupation, done by poor women in the countryside in areas such as the Lake District in England. While the job wasn't physically demanding, there were obvious dangers. The leech collectors could suffer from a severe loss of blood or infection. Leeches would suck onto the collector's legs for up to 20 minutes, and the wounds could continue to bleed for 10 hours. When the leech collector had had enough, they placed the leeches in a bucket and sold them to a medical practitioner. Leech collecting was not a well-paid job and could only be done during the hotter months, as leeches are less active during the colder seasons. The occupation went on the decline, as the human blood-sucking species of leech was becoming extinct in Europe due to over-collecting and the medical value of bloodletting declined in the late 19th century, as new discoveries were made. Subscribe for more history videos. Hey, Simple History fans, if you're looking for a better way to support the channel and help us create more epic content, consider becoming a sponsor on our channel. Sponsoring means that for just five bucks a month, you get these amazing perks. You can be the first to see new episodes with early access. You'll be able to watch new episodes before anyone else with this perk. A custom icon that shows alongside your username in the comments section and in live chat. When you sponsor us, you also become an influencer. With sponsor-only comments, you can communicate directly with us and help us pick the topics that we'll do next on Simple History. Our videos will continue to be uploaded as usual, and remember, it's not mandatory to sponsor us. Thank you for letting us feed your hunger for history.